Hello everybody and welcome to another uh, episode of my uh, my exposing of what is my performance and my methodology approaching the uh, forex uh, using mathematical uh, approach by using Excel spreadsheets and formulas and um, this video is I hope it will be very short and it's made um, for uh, answering the continuous questions that I receive via email and unfortunately in this moments I don't have that much time for uh, for um, uh, occupying myself with this thing so I hope to give another clarification showing another um, another um, month of performance and uh, just to give an idea of how my approach to forex is is going on okay so let's dive into it immediately and let's grab uh, first of all if you watch my previous video and of course i suggest you strongly suggest you to watch my previous videos at least the three or four videos back so that you can have all the sequence of the things i'm doing and exposing and in this video i was uh, with this um, new account, demo account that I have created um, at the beginning of the 4th of November and of, of course today is the 4th of December 2020 so uh, the new demo account for educational purposes is going to expire today so it will close everything today uh, I have some trades running that I of course injected after the non-farm payroll re release and other important news for the day and uh, this was the beginning of the first two days the 4th and the 5th of November with this uh, equity curve that of course is the same equity curve that I am reporting here and uh, for being transparent whatever you can check in the next statement so these statements uh, that I will show you in a minute are about uh, the end the entire month of November okay of trading so just to have an idea that we are having this account number in all the files in fact let me just show you here is always the 300 58981 okay 300 58981 okay so we were in this situation and let me briefly show you what was the performance actually uh, till yesterday so these are all the trades i have made along this exactly 20 days and today is the 21st day so you can always you know stop and check by yourself and this is the equity line of all the trades i've made with a profit of 102 percent in 21 in 20 days of trading okay and uh, just to be even more precise today as i told you i placed some orders uh, about one hour after the release of the non-farm payroll uh, which are these orders right here okay which I place it at this time of course this is the GMT time of MT4 okay so all the orders are in positive actually I, I'm always trading the GBP GBP yesterday in the day of yesterday was in a, in a sell condition uh, ready to be traded and today after uh, some up and downs and retracements due of course to the uh, economic news of the Friday this is the first Friday of the month uh, I waited for a good occasion for uh, trading still the GBP in a short direction and uh, even by analyzing my um, my Excel uh, my Excel uh, spreadsheet with all the formulas 
I let me just do a, a brief uh, recap in a minute. Um, I thought that this was a kind of moment where, after the news, the GBP was exhausting his his trend up, uh, his 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 movement towards uh, towards up, and then that it was ready for for uh, for a change of direction towards the down the, the downside. Of course, here we see. Uh, the whole currencies together from the beginning of the day and then we see the, all the currencies related to the GBP and all the currencies related to the dollar and in fact here I can see that the dollar is oscillating uh, but with more opportunities to go up to express the up direction so uh, I was waiting for a situation where the GBP was exhausting the uptrend for then taking a short direction which is this kind of movement where all the currencies are getting strength, strength against the GBP and if we see the orders I have here actually from a, a starting point of about 479, 480 units of currency, currency uh, actually, I am experiencing uh, four times profit. Okay, with just uh, one uh, one uh, order placed because it's Friday. I want to be cautious. I need to finish early. So basically, I took all the currencies against the GBP in uh, in short, where GBP is based, and in long for. GBP as a quote. Actually, there is still opportunity for the GBP to go in the short direction. Let me check uh, here. Let me do just another update. <coughs> At least until this area. And uh, even if I could make it longer or whatever what I am about to do now is just to create a final balance and I it's enough you know for just a bunch of trades uh, you don't have to be greedy you don't have to uh, think that a trade can last forever especially in day trading so basically in order to I will close all my <coughs> trades get a final balance for a report let me just grab this here okay yeah so the account is always the same these are all the trades you can verify and check yourself and uh, and this is the final balance so 52,761 okay which is roughly a hundred and three percent in a month and if you watch my previous videos it's roughly an average that can be taken constantly uh, by trading with some methodology and creating some consistency. Uh, of course there were days where uh, my profit was almost to zero or just a bit in positive uh, but I think that this equity line can, can reveal a, a very good approach that math, math can provide for um, for uh, for those who are willing to analyze the market and uh, get some uh, important information in order to make a day trading activity. Okay, so uh, this is all for now. I, I told you I would be very brief even because uh, my time is pretty limited and I need to optimize it. Of course, uh, I always 
thank you for uh, watching my video for those who are subscribing my channel for those who are leaving comments and um, the only thing I, I can say is that if you want to keep in contact with me you can use my Skype connection or my email uh, despite the fact that some emails I'm not about to respond because they are too much vague and without any kind of consistent information and uh, if you want really to interact with me you have to put me something that keeps my attention and also you have to have some patience because in these months I am very very busy so I cannot give a lot of time to this but let's keep in any way in contact let's try to make this and I would be happy you know to uh, have a confrontation with those of you who are interested in this kind of interaction so with all this said I wish you a good weekend of course now we are going towards the weekend and as usual have a good space and have a good time enjoy life bye